everybody. Solomon's Tales. I'm losing numbers. Anyway, the last one we were talking about how Solomon had met this girl named Frozen. And they became very good friends. Um, Frozen actually had a scooter and they she was showing Solomon around some of the different bars and cafes, restaurants and some of the sites as well up on the top of the hill and further afield. And they'd spend some time together in the daytime as well. She was living <laughs> in the same block that Solomon was renting the room. How, what a coincidence. But yep, yeah, she was in the same block. So that was quite funny. But they'd go out for the day, um, go look at different beaches. They even went across to that island, is it Kula? Or whatever the island is opposite Patea. Went over to there together. People looked at them together as if they were boyfriend, girlfriend, but they weren't, they were just really good mates. Um, Solomon had never had a Thai friend, girl, as a friend. Even though she was attractive, loyal to the boyfriend, which it was, it was admirable, it was good. So Solomon didn't even think about pushing the buttons or going further. And he met quite a few of Frozen's friends. Um, when they went out in the evenings, Frozen took him to that Excite Club and uh, other places and some other Thai little hidden clubs around, which was good, very good. Now, one day, um, probably a month into that two months, they were out on the bikes and they'd gone up to the hill I can't remember the name of that hill, what it is. This is the, right up on the top of the hill, anyway. And there was a, a hotel that was quite well known, and it was called Cabbages and Condoms. But you could go in there as a non-resident and get food and drink. Um, and Frozen's boyfriend quite often took her up there. So she took Solomon up there. And lunchtime, they went in. Prices were middle of the road you could call them expensive but it wasn't too bad Solomon had been winning a bit of money on Paul and they <coughs> Frozen took him there for lunch in they went and it was uh, like on a, a high point and there was gardens down below and things and beautiful views went and sat down ordered some food and they were talking about well, Simon was talking about pool contests and killer bar, killer pool and the different bars. Frozen mentioned how she hadn't even tried those, um, but she'd seen them. And she mentioned a couple of other bars that he didn't know about were doing killer pool. That was good. So they planned on going to one of these bars. Anyway, whilst having lunch, a couple came in. Um, it was a, an American. He turned out he was a, he wasn't a professional golfer. He was the caddy to a professional golfer. Um, and he was with this very attractive girl, but Solomon couldn't see her. She had her back to him, didn't spot it as, he, as she walked in. And they sat at the table so Solomon sat here, beached well, the seat of this side, frozen facing. Then there's this man, and then uh, sorry, this girl, and then this man. And it just happened that frozen went off to the loot. This other girl at the same time walked off, and that's when Solomon and this guy started talking. Lovely guy, um, and he said he was uh, a caddy, and that he only had a couple of days left, and he was off back. He comes quite often over um, and he's got this Thai girlfriend that uh, he's madly in love with. Anyway, both the women came back, Frozen and this other girl, came back from the toilets 
And as they started walking over, Solomon's mouth fell open and eyes popped out of his head. He looked across at this other girl that was with the American and he thought, oh my, I know that girl. And that girl looked at him, smiled. She didn't wink, but she sort of nodded her head, at, recognized him. It wasn't the girlfriend before, no. This girl, I think we know her as Ning. N-I-N-G Do you remember that girl with the motorbike in Krabby? That stunning girl with large upper parts of her body and was into the motorbikes that said she had a boyfriend and things? There she was, stunning she recognized Solomon he recognized her and he couldn't say anything because there's her boyfriend over there anyway Ning went and sat down with a fella frozen cum eating Solomon's just can't take his mind off Ning he sort of had that encounter didn't he the sort of on the beach with her and uh, in Krabby and the meal and she disappeared off Oh, so she's in Patea. But any moment now, they're going to go and he's not, he's not going to be able to stop thinking about her. He's already thinking about how he is not going to stop thinking about her. Have you ever been in the position, have you ever been, maybe you're in Thailand, in somewhere like, Patea and you see another guy with a beautiful woman and you can't stop thinking about it. That happens to quite a few people I think. And uh, well anyway Solomon he needs the toilet. Off he goes to the loo. And the <laughs> it's weird how the girls go to the toilet together and then the guy so this guy gets up, follows Solomon to the toilet. Well, I don't think he was just going to the toilet. He wasn't following him. Anyway, Solomon went to the toilet, this guy. And Solomon came back first. And as he came back, Ning was up at the bar. Um, but Solomon didn't know how far behind the other guy was, whether he'd finished and he was right behind him or what. But Ning, as he's walking up, looks at him, smiles and ha puts her hand with a napkin towards Solomon and Solomon puts his hand out and she gives him a napkin and he hears the guy behind so he crunches up the napkin, smiles and just walks past her back to the table. <sighs> she had given him her phone number. Now that, that is naughty. She's got a boyfriend and she gave Solomon her phone number. Why? Very naughty. Shouldn't happen. But it did. Anyway, Solomon and Frozen. You recognise the name yet? Yeah? Finished the food. Off. Walked off. Solomon said goodbye to Ning and her fellow and off they walked and went off on some sort of wandering around on the bikes. Frozen mentioning other bars, pool contests. Yeah, so that was their targets. Solomon said to Frozen that, um, I don't know why he did it. He said if she showed her these bars and things and, and he could win some money, he'd give her a little bit of a cut. Didn't need to, but she was getting money from her boyfriend. It wasn't a lot. 
It wasn't a lot, but she'd been with her fella for a few months and, you know, every penny helps. But if it's from winnings and she's showing him new bars where he could possibly win money, okay. Now, some of these pool, killer pool contests in bars, depends on which night they were, because there's a snooker, battery win. There's a snooker pool league on certain nights around Patea and probably all over Thailand. So quite a few people would go and play for one bar and that bar would travel around and they'd play for each other's bars. Now if you hit one of these contests when the really good players were playing for their local bar, then the top boys weren't there. And Solomon had been beaten a few times by these certain guys. Uh, sure enough, Frozen took him to a bar, third road somewhere. It wasn't a, a big turnout. And it was, um, again, it was something like a thousand baht entrance fee. But it was only about 15 people. First time, this new bar, Frozen took him, paid his money, won the contest. Got about 12,000, 12,500 baht. Give a couple of thousand baht to Frozen. She was amazed that he'd won it. He was amazed. Um, so that was a bit of a partnership growing there with him and Frozen. Now, in his mind, that it was the phone number. He'd got his rubbish telephone, put that number in. Ning, N-I-N-G, definitely on his mind. He'd remembered the guy, her fella, was going a few days later. So he couldn't do anything for a few days. But three or four days later, he made the call. And Ning was very happy to hear from him. And they arranged to meet up um, down on Beach Road. Just one of the bars on the front there. And... Hmm, very interesting. But we'll continue it on the next one. I don't know how long this video is because my time got reset, so. <laughs> Ning, frozen. He's only been there a month and a bit. No hedonistic encounters. Interesting, different. Don't tell the missus. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.